friends of the French Foreign Legion, I am greeting you. I'm right back to give an answer to your question. Um, my name is Thomas Gast, and I spent 17 years in the French Foreign Legion, so I think that uh, my information I have, my updated information I have, will be good for you, and I think this is the correct address to know all about the entry requirements for the French Foreign Legion. That's why I'm here. I'm here to to serve you. You. The first question of the day is from James Henderson. And James is an applicant, was an applicant for the British Army. Hi, Mr. Gast. I was told by the British Army that I could not join because I had to go on a course of oral steroids for my lungs. And now you want to know if you can, with this, if you can join the French for religion. James, in my opinion, yes. This is... In my opinion, this is no problem, because it was a long time ago, you know, and your chances to be taken are still 1 out of 10. Huh? Just travel to France, knock on a PIL's door. PIL is Post Information Légion Étrangère. This is a recruiting desk which you can find in almost every big uh, city in France and try your chance. Good luck, James. I'm going right to the next question. Uh, then the next question is coming from Johandre Mare. Johandre, I'm greeting you on my channel. Hello. Hi, Mr. Gast. If one has a pending DUI court, just to explain to the, to the public, to the audience, what is a DUI course, court? A DUI stands for drunk while or drunk under influence. So somebody has been caught by the police drunken driving a car or being under influence of drugs while driving a car. So, uh, so you are talking about a pending DUI court case which has been taken off the court's rosters for pending blood results. Johandre, uh, I can give you the same answer like uh, James. Your chances to be taken in the French Foreign Legion are still 1 to 10. Uh, DUI court is no problem, is absolutely no problem for joining the French for Legion, this is nothing. Yeah? This is really nothing. Maybe in the United States, this is a big problem. But in Europe, in France, in the French for Legion, you will have your second chance. And I, I'm going so far to say that the French for Legion is the world's only institution who can give you a second chance. And this is very important to you for, for, for knowing this, you know. So, travel to France, join Try to join the French Foreign Legion. You are very welcome there. Huh? If you can make your way through the test. The next question is coming from Sanil Oli. Yeah, Sanil, hello. I'm greeting you on my channel. I love this name, Sanil. I never heard about, an, uh, about a name like this. Uh, Sanil, you're coming maybe from India. I'm right. I'm not sure. Sir, if I got a student visa, can I join the French Foreign Legion? Yes, of course. No matter what kind of visa somebody have. Tourist visa, uh, short, long, a student visa, whatever. This is not important. The importance is that you have a valid passport. You are in France. You knock on the door of a pill and say, Hello, I want to join the French Foreign Legion. Your chances are 1 out of 10. Welcome to the French Foreign Legion. Try your best. Good luck, my friend Sanilla. I'm coming right to the next question. The next question is from... Uh, Dan Emerson. Hello Dan, I'm greeting you on my channel. And your question is about uh, how much leave can you have uh, when you are in the regiments, how much leave can you have to, to join your country, to visit your country, your beloved ones. It's like uh, 45 days, 45 days in a year. When you are in your regiment, uh, you run through the uh, entry requirements, you fulfill all the entry requirements, you run through your basic camp, you are now in your regiment, uh, second REI, second rep, third REI, third, 13th DBLE, whatever, you are in your regiment, you have 45 days leave in a year, right? And when you are rectified, what means you are through RSM, which could be the case after 10 months only, you can travel to your home country for the duration of your leave. The leave is not 45 days in a row, of course not. You will split it up maybe three times, of uh, three parts in a year. 
maybe three weeks there, three weeks there, and three weeks in this period, you know, three weeks, three weeks, three weeks. But 45 days is about 11 weeks. So it's a long time, so you have a lot of occasions to see your beloved ones in your hometown, in your home country. Do not worry about this. Huh? It's absolutely no problem. Next question is from... Uh, um, John Doe. Oh, John Doe. <laughs> nice, very nice comment. John Doe, I love you also. You're a great man. <laughs> Bullshit, right? Uh, Captain Engelhorn. Captain Engelhorn, you want to see more techniques from, from my part? Uh, crossing the rivers and all this stuff. This is to come. Uh, actually, I do not have so much time because I just... Uh, I just... Uh, my uh, wife just was pregnant so I am father again and I do not so have so much time to go outdoors and survival in the forest and this but it will it will come more and more you know if you're coming closer to the summer also so I can I can have more time for myself going out and, and showing you more techniques you want to know you want to see that's that's okay it's to come I'm planning this right so I'm coming right to the next, uh, right to the next question of the day. The next question of the day is uh, Manuel Orlov from Manuel Orlov. Hello, I'm greeting you on my channel. How can I become a sniper? Manuel, firstly, you must join the French Foreign Legion. You make your way through selection. You make your way through the boot camp. You will be in your regiment. Then you must show that you are interested to be. A sniper, a tier de leader. Then, when you are selected to be a sniper, but you must be, you must be among the best shooters of your platoon. This is for sure. Yeah? Not everybody can be chosen to be a tier de leader or a sniper. You must be among the best uh, shooters, marksmen in your platoon. So, when you are selected to be a, a tier de leader, what means a, a, a sniper? Yeah. It's, it, it's kind of a thing between tier de lead and sniper. You will be sent uh, to follow a TP course. TP course is tier de precision, a sharpshooters course. That will last for maybe three or four weeks, right? And here you are learning all the techniques you need to be a good shooter, huh? a good sharpshooter. And then when the tier de precision stage course is finished, afterwards you will be chosen to follow a sniper course. And a sniper course is much more than this because it lasts about, the duration is about between six and eight weeks, depends on the regiment. And here will, you will learn not only to handle your arm, to your weapon, to handle your weapon, to handle all the stuff around this and to, to be a good shooter, you will also learn how to move in the terrain, how to hide yourself, how to camouflage yourself, tactics, you will learn how to use radios, how to lose, how to infiltrate, penetrate in enemy's country shooting and exfiltrate uh, survival style, you know, this is very important. It's not important to, to be a very good, it's not only important to be a very good shooter, it's important to have your brain where it used to be, to have uh, a clear, a clear uh, vision of, uh, of the enemy, you know, his, what, what he is doing, what he is planning, wh where, he, which uh, which position to choose to shoot mm, sometimes you can only shoot one time yeah? so you may infiltrate enemy country shoot one time and then exfiltrate for 30 kilometers again yeah? so it's, it's, it's sniper and sharpshooter is not the same but that's the way to do it's a very hard way and only the best are taken so I think for today it's good enough uh, I gave a lot of answers to your question Amitié Legionnaire, thank you, thank you that you are with me if we have more questions. Do not hesitate to put it here in the thread. Yours, Thomas Gasser. Bye-bye.